Now, just bear with me, please, don't turn off. I'm going to read you a poem, but this is not a video about a poem. It's a video about something else entirely. So just, just bear with me. And when you heard the poem, maybe reflect on it for a little bit and, you know, put your initial comments down below. And then we'll come back to what the main thrust of this video is. So today I wrote a poem on the joys of being a teacher. Have a listen. I love the way their eyes light up as they learn something new. The way they beam with pride and joy when they finally break through. It's such a privilege to be there, guiding them through each day, watching as their knowledge grows in every single way. I love the way they ask me questions and challenge all I know. It keeps me on my toes for sure and helps me to grow. I love the way we laugh and learn and grow and change each year, for there's no other place on earth where I'd rather be, my dear. So here's to all the teachers out there who tirelessly work each day. May you know the joys of your calling and the impact that you make. Well, it's probably not going to win any prizes, but it's not bad. It's not terrible, is it? It's passable. I mean, if I was given it as a homework assignment, I, I think I'd probably at least get a B plus for that, don't you think? Well, the problem is I didn't write it. No human being wrote it. It's the product of artificial intelligence. Yes, it took 30 seconds for me to do it. I just wrote into an artificial intelligence uh, bot that I wanted to write a poem, five stanzas on the joys of being a teacher. It's a bit clunky, but as I said, it's passable. And it's possibly dangerous. What do you think? Hello everyone, welcome to and welcome back to my channel, Book Time with Elvis with me, Mark. And welcome to our video about AI, its pros and cons and the impact it may have on creativity and schoolwork. We're going to explore exactly what AI is, how it works, and what it means for our future. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is a technology that allows machines to learn, reason, and perform tasks that would normally require human intelligence. AI can be used in many fields, such as healthcare, finance, and education. Some of the benefits of AI include the ability to process and analyze vast amounts of data, which can help us solve complex problems and make more informed decisions and develop new technologies. AI can also help us to automate repetitive tasks, freeing up time for more creative work, and it can provide personalized learning experiences that adapt to each student's needs. But, of course, like many things, there are also some downsides to AI. One of the main concerns is that artificial intelligence may replace humans at their jobs, especially those that involve routine or manual labor. Another concern is that AI systems may perpetuate biases or discrimination, especially if they are trained on data that reflects existing inequalities in society. And finally, there are concerns about the ethical implications of AI, such as the potential for misuse or unintended consequences. So how does AI actually work? Well, it all starts with data. An AI system needs to be trained on a large amount of data in order to learn how to recognize patterns, make predictions and perform tasks. This data is fed into an algorithm. Well, we all know about algorithms, don't we? Which uses mathematical models to identify patterns and make predictions. Over time, this algorithm learns from its mistakes and becomes better at its tasks. One of the questions that often comes up when we talk about AI is whether it will have a positive or negative impact on creativity. Some people worry that AI might make us more reliant on technology and less creative as a result. However, others argue that AI can actually enhance our creativity by giving us new tools and insights that we otherwise wouldn't have. So finally, let's talk about school especially homework. As AI becomes more advanced, it's possible that students may use AI to help them complete their assignments. This raises the question of how teachers can tell if homework has been done by a student or by an AI system. One possible solution is to ask a student to explain how they arrived at their answers or to require them to show their work in detail. 
This, of course, would make it harder for AI systems to simply generate answers without understanding the underlying concepts. Well, that's all we have time for today. I hope you've learned something new about AI, its pros, its cons, and the impact it may have on our future. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching. Now, don't turn off because I'm not finished. All of that you just heard, that little YouTube program that I made and scripted, I didn't. It was AI. Again, it took 30 seconds. That's scary. That's really scary. And it got me thinking for this edition of Monday Musings. I know it's taken us five minutes to get to the kind of part where I muse, but isn't that crazy? You know, again, it's not perfect. I did, I did kind of change a little bit as I was going along because I saw I didn't quite read right. But, you know, I could script that and read off it. The work took 30 seconds. Imagine what I can do. I mean, what, what's going to happen? What's going to happen in the future? Are books going to be written? initially by AI and then just edited by a human just to make it seem better, I don't know. Are we going to be watching television or theatre productions where the whole thing has just been fed through an AI and that's the product? I mean, it's still in early days, but can you imagine what can be done after years and years of use and more and more information being fed into these algorithms? I find it... I'm conflicted because I'm terribly excited. I think it's absolutely wonderful. You know, um, it could revolutionize so many things, but I'm also terribly scared about the implications it would have on our youth and our creativity and our imaginations. Aren't you? Let me know in the comments what you think, what you think of all this. Do you think the future of creativity is in danger from this? Yeah, it might not take, you know, it might take five years, it might take 50 years, I don't know, but surely it can only get better at doing this particular job. And as it does, what does it mean for us? Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Do have a great day, and see you all soon. Bye-bye.